But um, yeah, the main talking point today is we are our own worst enemy. And it's got nothing to do with like uh, motivation and that. Like, oh, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside ain't got to do us no harm. Whatever. That's, that's like my favourite um, quote. If there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. Now, it ain't got nothing to do with that. And it is us black people were our own worst enemy, literally. Someone put one in the comment section right now. If you are a black man watching this right now and you walk down the road, don't, don't, don't put one in the chat yet. Wait for me to finish it. If you're a black man watching this right now, if you walk down the road and you see a white man and he's looking at you and you don't care. Right? But if you see a black man walking down the road, an unfamiliar face, is it just me? Yeah, I don't think it's me in it. I don't believe it's just me in it, yeah. But do you, is there this some sort of tension between you and this next guy when you walk down the road? And you don't even need to be a street man. Definitely, if you're a street man, yeah, you're definitely gonna. But even if you're not a street man, you might even experience this. So press one in the chat if you're a black man watching this right now, and you walk down the road and you see another black man, and there's this weird tension for no reason, you know. Not every black man, but just sometimes. Press one in the chat. Look, I'm me all the time. All the time. Up in this area, Edmonton, any part of London man go to in it, yeah? Every now and then. A lot of the time. There's always this screwing thing going on, yeah? So that is the tension, basically. There's always this screwing thing going on. Literally, I've been in the shop around, going, going to the shop around the corner. I see another black brother walking towards me, see a crackhead, a white crackhead, Laughing and joking, slap his hand and that. He's laughing and he's joking and that. And as soon as he's moved away from the crackhead and that, and he's seen me, he's just gone into like militant mode. Not even screaming, I'm not even looking at man. But he's gone back into his militant mode. You know? Like, as to say, like, my man needs to put up this tough, hard exterior and that, or else he's going to look, be looked at by me as being weak and that. And he's not even screaming, man. But I know he sees me, like, I see him, he sees me and that. But a man's like, yeah, 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 chatting to a local crackhead that he knows and that. And then as soon as he, he he's moved away from the crackhead and he's ended the exchange and the combo and that, my man's on, on some screw face team. And that. Like, I just find it weird. I find it weird. There's always this little tension and that between myself and the next brother. You know me, you know me, I ride motorbike and that. Yeah? A man will link up with these biker man them and that. But I don't know them. I'm in various different group chats and that, and man then will say, yo, everyone's linking up in uh, the McDonald's in Wapping, East London, E1. Um, a man will go there, and literally, there's a bunch of biker man, 20 man, but there's always one guy, me and him are having a standoff, or just watching each other. I don't know why, fam. Literally, us man, I always, I'm always, I always find one guy that I'm going to have a standoff with. Literally. Literally, there's always just this weird tension between two black men. Like, men are all literally trying to size each other up and that. Out here in Northampton, it might be a little bit, it's a little bit different sometimes because I'll have men, old, it's usually older men that will be driving past in their van or whatever, isn't it? and they'll beat their horn at me or, or put up there and say, well, go on and that. Yeah, okay, a man said only if they're the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I don't expect you to be having tension with a 70-year-old blood clot black man if you're 20 years old and that. But yeah, similar age and that, obviously. Plus or minus a few years and that. And with black man, you can't even tell anyway. A man that looks 25 might actually be 32. A man that might be, um, a man that might look 20 might actually be 25 and that. So with black man, you just, you just, you can't tell, in it. You can't tell. But literally... A lot of the time, especially especially on the ends and that, there's going to be this tension. Now, if you're in Loughton or Buckhurst and you see another black brother, there ain't going to be no tension. Yeah, the car pretty much. If you grow born and grow in that area, it's going to be like a white youth. Man's not on that energy. In it. But if you're in the ends, you see black man, there's always this weird tension. Weird tension. Even with the tenants, blood. The tenants. 
Man love my people, especially my Jamaican people, innit? Yeah, when I say my Jamaican people, I don't even mean the people them that's born in Jamaica. I mean, like, man, who's English, like, British-born Jamaican and that. But you know what? I hate working in some of these people's yards and that. Because when I go to their yards and that, I feel like man's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man's trying to size man up, trying to show off, trying to stunt on man, innit? So, like, when I phone up some of the tenants and that, I'll be talking to them, and man don't have no professional uh, a voice and that. No, man just talk. Obviously, I ain't going to talk as loosely like this, because obviously I'm chatting to you lot on a live stream and that. But literally, man will still talk the same way pretty much on the phone when I phone up the tenants. And, and I'll phone up some of the tenants, and forget about colour in it, yeah? Even when I'm chatting to the white people, them, I hear them start talking a bit street and that to try and match the way I talk. And when I go to some of these tenants' houses and that, the white man then would be telling me, yeah, man, I just got out of jail and, oh, I went jail. Man, are telling me about their jail stories. And that. Where does this come from? I never started talking to you about jail or the roads, you know. One white guy the other day, but there was something wrong with him. I must have phoned him up and said, yo, man's uh, going to be there in 20 minutes. I didn't say man's going to be there in 20 minutes. Say, oh, hello, it's the electrician. I'm going to be there in about 20 minutes. Yeah? And he said, all right, then, cool. I got there in about five because I didn't realise how close I was. And he's like, oh, that was a quick 20 minutes, you know, I was more like five or ten. He's like, I used to say that to people when I sell weed. Man, why are you telling me a stranger at your yard, just meeting you for the first time that you used to sell weed? But because when you're a certain way, man feel like they can, man, especially up here in it in Northampton, man, they want to show off in it, they want to pretend that they're bad in that. But this guy was not right in his head. So not right in his head that when I'm in his yard, Halfway through the test, my man's ran a bath and he said, yo, yo I'm going to jump in the bath, you know, but there's no door on my bathroom and that. Like, yeah, 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 just do what you need to do in it. Cool. Who the hell gets in the bathtub and has a bath when there's a stranger in their yard and there's no door on the bathroom? Most men don't even, you get me? When I'm in my yard, you get me, and I'm in my bathroom, you get me, yeah? Well, if I'm showering, I leave the door open, but you get me, when man's, you get me, sitting upon the, the, yeah? I have that door closed, and this is in front of my girl. Man don't get that comfortable in front of girl, you know? To be sitting on, and that's my girl, yeah? To be sitting on, let alone be in the bathroom, having a wash in front of a stranger that you've never met before. Guy's mad in his head. But yeah, other tenants, I've gone to their yard, white youths and that, telling me, yeah, they went to jail for the riots and that. And I get it. You know what? It's nice to have someone that understands the thing. You know, like, I'll go to their yard and they know I understand the thing, so they get to talk about their jail experiences. And that. I don't bring it up. Why am I going to their yard telling them about jail and that? Unless a man's talking on, on a street thing and that. So, anyway. So, that that's just even the white people and that. The black people, yeah, they, um, I feel like when I go to their yards and that, man are trying to like, that man feel threatened, basically. But not like they're scared or nothing, but they feel like they need to have some persona in it. Their man there is not cool. Put it this way, I feel like if I was a white, bald-headed, 50-year-old man, I feel like their man there would be chill. But because I'm a black man, a young man, they feel like they need to, like they're being observed and that, they need to carry some sort of persona and that. Literally, I feel like I bring out the gangster in the people in, in this area, you know. I've had a gas engineer, an older black man, Jamaican, 56, pushing 60 years old and that. But you know, us black men, we still look young and that. We even were older, we're still fit. Next thing you know, I'm on my stairs, sitting on my stairs, talking to this engineer and a gas engineer. And it, somehow this conversation came about telling me how he's got a gun and then he wanted to shoot someone. And like, What's going on here? I phone up a man, and in this Northampton area, the black man them sound like white man to me. Um, the first gas engineer, the gas engineer was telling me about how he had a gun. He was originally from London. He's from like Northwest London or somewhere like that, with Wembley or Harrow or somewhere. In but this other black man that I phoned up to do some removals, he's born and bred Northampton. So when I spoke to him on the phone, he sounded like a white guy and he sounded young, but he was actually like 56 jumped in the van and spun around and gone up towards the, the carriageway up the road, didn't it? Man's talking about, I ran this area and that, telling me I was a bad man and I'm like, bro, where'd this come from, blood? That man's just trying to remove a mattress, blood. 
I'm not telling me how he's a bad man and how he runs this area. And he had to tell me that he has a gun as well. Um, so yeah, I feel like black men feel like they need to prove themselves to man. I don't know, maybe you lot have experienced that, maybe you ain't in it, yeah, but in Northampton, I've experienced that a lot. And as I said, like on the street, there's tension and that. But even when I go to some of the tenants' houses and that, the black ones and that, they start moving funny. They're not moving chill. And it's not, they don't, and it's not a case where they feel like I'm gonna come and tie them up and rob them. These ain't got nothing to rob anyway. But I feel like they have to put some kind of persona on and that. And it's stupidness. 